video cards and hard drives. Let's get started. What's up guys, welcome to part four of my uh, upgrade series. In this video, I'm gonna be doing uh, unboxing of my video card as well as installing the uh, hard drives in my computer. Uh, take a look in the description below for uh, links to the playlist for the entire series uh, and check those out and that'll be updated as I get the videos out there. So, video card. This is the EVGA GeForce GTX 760 Super Clocked Edition. And uh, I picked this because it happened to be, um, I think, a pretty good deal um, for the price. Um, it's a little bit more um, performance-based uh, compared to uh, some of the other cards that are out there. I was actually going to pick up the MSI um, GTX 760, but this happened to be on sale, and so I got this one. Now, let's get this out of the box so I can show you what it looks like. Wow. So what do we got here? We have user's guide, CD, I guess for drivers. It's a pretty cool case badge that's in there. It's kind of neat. Some attention, I guess, for power and don't touch it, it gets hot. Some more documentation, important notice, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And some pretty cool stickers. Uh, I'll never use them, but stickers and a user's guide this is a VGA to or DVI to VGA converter uh, if you're using a VGA monitor with this you're doing it wrong so I, I won't be needing that uh, this is a sleeved two six pin to one eight pin connector um, actually you get two of these or oh, sorry this is Molex so Molex to Six pin, yeah. Molex to six pin connector in there. And then the actual card. Okay, here's the card out of the case. And uh, let me peel off the plastic that's on the outside here if I can get a handle on it. So, and there you go. So, put that on the side. Really, really nice looking video card. Um, so, black yeah, with silver accents. And this is the uh, what they call their ACX cooling or active cooling extreme setup. Uh, I guess these fans are supposed to be on um, ball bearings or something like that. Uh, pretty neat. Here's the top. You've got a, a six pin and an eight pin power requirement. And then you've got a really um, actually nice cover here for the uh, fingers for when you're joining this up with another uh, NVIDIA GTX 760. Here's the underside and your connectors. You get a couple of DVIs. Uh, that's got to be HDMI and uh, that's uh, DisplayPort. This uh, GTX 760 is really, really cool. I think it's going to look great in the case. There was actually something else in the box that I didn't notice. And uh, it's a poster, which is uh, actually kind of creepy. Um, it's got whatever the heck that's supposed to be, and then it folds out. It's, uh, I don't know what that's supposed to be. I'll put it back in the box and uh, never to be seen again. I forgot to take the plastic off of a couple of pieces, and I wanted to uh, make sure I pointed that out to you. So there was a um, piece here, 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 and then one here, and one there. Uh, and then another thing that I forgot to mention is why I went with an NVIDIA card as opposed to an AMD card. Um, for video editing, uh, using OpenCL, which is uh, an AMD technology, would have been probably the better choice. But the main reason why I got this is price. Um, it, uh, you know, the uh, AMD cards right now just seem to be really, really expensive, and I think that has to do with people uh, buying them because I guess they seem to be a little bit more attuned um, to doing uh, like Bitcoin mining or some other type of um, internet currency mining. So. Um, you know, I went with the GeForce uh, GTX 760. I think it's going to be a fantastic card. Uh, but I will be able to make use of the CUDA cores that are available here in the software that I use. It may not be as optimal as OpenCL, uh, but uh, we should be just fine. Here are the hard drives out of my uh, previous system here. I've got a 2 terabyte and a 1 terabyte Western Digital Black drives. 
this one terabyte drive I was using for, uh, for data and music, and this two terabyte drive I'm using for all my video. Uh, the Corsair Force uh, 120 gig SSD uh, I was using as my boot drive. In the new system, I'm going to be using a Samsung uh, SSD, which I'll show you in a second. That's going to be my boot drive. And eventually, once I have everything set up and working the way that I want, this 120 gig SSD is actually going to become a scratch drive, and I'm going to uh, edit video right off of the SSD. And that's going to make uh, my life a lot faster when it comes to editing video uh, because that's going to be super fast. So that's going to be a, a neat setup, I think. And then these drives will just remain uh, how I use them today. So this Samsung SSD now becomes my boot drive. This is uh, an 840 Pro, 256 gigabytes, really fast, highly rated SSD. So I'm happy to finally get it uh, so I can use it in my computer. Uh, off camera, I did cut the uh, little tape there so that I wouldn't cut myself on camera. And let's see what's included. Okay, so we have our installation guide. And these look like case badges. Everybody seems to be including case badges in their products. I don't use them, so that'll go back in the box. Warranty information, so manual and software. And then the actual drive. Um, really cool looking, very thin really really light and uh, there's no uh, hardware uh, included outside of the SSD so uh, not going to be a huge deal because I'll just be installing it in one of the little caddies that come with my case uh, but there you go the next thing that's going to be going in my case is this uh, memory card reader now I had a USB 2.0 reader in my uh, computer but I'm going to be upgrading to this USB 3.0 reader because I do a lot of transfer from the uh, SD cards from my video camera to my computer. So this is going to make that process a lot faster. Uh, this one is by Rose Will. It's a 74-in-1 USB 3.0 uh, card reader. It's a 3.5 inch uh, size device. And right out of the box, there's a silver face plate, which I won't use. And then there's other stuff. Uh, there's the, uh, what is this, product guide or, or the uh, installation guide. And then the actual unit itself, which I'll show you here. So there's some screws, which are useful. And uh, the actual reader here. Very simple. Uh, there's uh, you get a USB 3.0 lead in the front, and uh, your standard complement of cards that it'll accept. And the one that I care about is the SD slot. And on the back side, there's a USB 3.0 header that uh, plugs into where it needs to plug into on the motherboard. So very neat. Now my case does not have a three and a half inch bay but I do have this little uh, kit that I got from Silverstone uh, I don't know what the model is I'll find it and I'll put it in the description so you can check that out um, so this will fit right in here and uh, just slide into the case and last but not least is my blu-ray burner this is a model from LG and uh, I use this a lot actually on my computer to watch movies and uh, I haven't actually burned a Blu-ray with it but I have the capability to do so if I need it. I actually burn more DVDs than I did Blu-rays but um, it's nice to have. It was just a generic uh, or not a generic but a, um, a Blu-ray burner with no packaging. It just came in some bubble wrap when I picked it up originally. Case is back on the table here and the drive cages are installed. Uh, the uh, 600T's got a really simple, really easy way to uh, install hard drives. So we make use of these little caddies that fall into the cages. And I've got the uh, new SSD installed and just screwed into the bottom. And uh, they just slide in, just like that. So I'm going to get all these into the case. There's the one terabyte drive. And finally, the two terabyte drive. 
like that. Uh, and then I'll install the Blu-ray drive and the card reader up front. The drives in the front are just as easy. So I uh, just line, line them up, push them through. And because it's toolless, all you have to do is push them in until it clicks. Here's the card reader installed in the uh, Silverstone adapter. And I'm gonna put this one in the bottom. So I'm gonna run the cable through, line it up, and then uh, just push it in until we hear a click like that. And then I've got the face plates that go in here and I'll put those in uh, when I'm done. Installing the video card is the next thing to do. And uh, a couple things to be mindful of. So first off, we're gonna be using this top slot here. Uh, this is gonna make sure that we run the card at the full uh, 16X speed. Remove the uh, backing plates here and make sure these screws are gone. And then the install is pretty simple. So the uh, pins on the PCB are gonna line up with the uh, slot that's on the motherboard. And um, this just slides in. And we wanna make sure that the pins are lined up properly. And then we will just press down like that. And then we're set. And we wanna make sure that we replace the thumb screws here to hold the card in place. Okay guys, things are coming together really, really nicely if I do say so myself here. Uh, the black and red theme I think is looking really, really sharp. Uh, the video card is in and I think overall it just looks fantastic. There's one thing that's really missing now and that's plugging in all of the cables. And we're gonna cover that in the next video. So definitely like and subscribe, that's gonna help me out a ton. Check out the description below for the playlist for the uh, upgrade um, series. And uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are in the description, like I said. And uh, that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. So thanks for watching. See you next time.